I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do slash and spread using the new knife tool. Let me zoom in just a little bit more here. I've just taken my sleeve and what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to fill that with a color and then I'm going to duplicate control J and I'm going to change it to a yellow. So I have a bottom layer in blue and a top layer in yellow. You can see they're both there. So two layers. And then with that top layer selected, you do have to make sure you have it selected. Choose your knife tool and we can draw lines and you want to start outside of it. You can use shift to draw a straight line and make sure you go all the way through. Shift, go all the way through and you can draw as many pieces as you want. Depends how much of a flutter you want to give this sleeve. And I'm going to call that good right there. Um, for mine. Then we can use the move tool and you can see I can select each of those individual pieces. So now I'm going to select those individual pieces and you can start uh, rotating them. If you want to move where it is rotating from, come up towards the top you'll see a little target and that's in the, the enable transform origin. Okay and we're going to click on that. Let me zoom in and you can see that a little target has appeared here in the middle and I can move that wherever I want to um, rotate from. So it's rotating from that corner that I put it in and this just really depends how much of a flutter you want, how much you're going to, to move it out. And you're just going to keep kind of rotating it that way. You can move your origin of where it's rotating from. Maybe I want to make it that way a little bit here and then this one let's move it down here and then I could rotate it and it's just kind of a little bit of that so I'm just going to quite work through this sure it's kind of lining up here okay now we're going to use our node tool to make the sleeve underneath match where we have it here and so we're just going to take those nodes and we're going to put them in where we need to make the curves match You can see I'm just adjusting it very quickly to match where I've got that. And I think we need to add one here and bring it down just a little bit. And there I have my new sleeve. You can group it, you can save it. Um, but there's a little really quick of how to use the knife tool to slash and spread and also using that transform tool with the origin. And I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, now I want to show you using a basic bodice how you can use the knife tool to manipulate that dart. I'll have a, a more full tutorial on this. I just wanna show you a few ways you can do that and you can use your imagination on to use that. But I will go more in depth how to do this at a later time. Uh, first, I've just pulled up using the node tool and I've selected my bodice. I'm going to move uh, that dart uh, node right to uh, the center point where I'm gonna make uh, the rotation. If you're on a, a front bodice, you can uh, put this at the bus point, um, but I'll go more of the particulars on, on, on doing these kind of alterations uh, later. The next thing we're going to use is that new knife tool, and I'm just going to click it to select it, and I'm going to choose to click and go through that node at the top, and then right where I might want to uh, use the rotation or put in a side dart. Um, and then unclick and it's drawn a line. 
Um, since I was kind of drawing at any angle, I'm not going to use the modifier shift to draw a straight line uh, because it only allows you to draw on certain angles. But I do want to get, oops, <laughs> I want to get rid of some of these nodes. So I'm going to use the node tool and just select all those round dots and delete them. And then I have a straight uh, line here that I've cut. And now we can use uh, the select uh, to select parts of it. Now you can see if I select this, it's got highlighted in blue uh, the top part of it. And if I come over here and select here, I have the bottom part. Now this is where we're going to transform it or rotate it. And at the top toolbars, uh, you can see there's um, a cross. It kind of looks like a target. And I'm going to enable that there and a little um, dot here. Let me zoom in here. So this is where the origin is. And that's going to show you where you're going to rotate from. And you can move it anywhere on the shape or on your paper. I'm going to move it right over here uh, to the apex of the dart. And then I can rotate this shape. And you can really move that dart anywhere you want if you want to have two darts maybe a little bit smaller or maybe you just want it to have uh, one side dart you can change that there using that transform origin and then I can unclick and then you could clean this up I have some extra lines that maybe I want to get rid of or, or move around um, and then you can join the curves as well but that's a quick way you can use the knife tool to make a quick cut and then you can rotate using the transform origin.